today I'm going to tell you a story about a broken angel. Have you heard angels breaking? Yes, no? No. Well, Maggie was an eight-year-old girl. She loved to watch storms. One day she was sitting in her house, and guess what was happening outside? It was raining. It was raining really, really very hard. Maggie turned off the lights in her living room, and she was watching the rain. Suddenly, she saw a small figure right in front of her house. Wow, who is that in the rain, all wet and soaking? She went close to the window, and then she called her mommy. Mommy, mommy, come out here. Someone is outside the door. Mommy came running, and then mommy saw it was a little girl, and she was crying. Mommy went to the porch, and Maggie went behind her. And when Maggie looked, she saw that it was Angie. Angie was her best friend. Angie and Maggie had been friends since kindergarten. They always did things together. They were like best buddies. Mommy told Maggie, Maggie, run. Go get Angie. She's all wet. Maggie ran, held Angie by her shoulders, hugged her and said, come on, come on, Angie. Come on, let's go inside. You're wet. When they came in, as they were coming in, Angie said, you know what, Maggie? I ran away from home. I'm all so upset. I ran away. I didn't want to be at home. Maggie said, why? They walked into the house. Mommy ran inside, and she got a big towel. She came out, and she started drying. Angie, Daddy went inside the kitchen, and he bought a big bowl of hot soup and gave it to Angie. Angie drank the soup. She stopped shivering. And then mommy, mommy looked at Angie. She knew that Angie was very upset, and she didn't want to talk any in front of mommy and daddy. So mommy said to Maggie, 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 why don't you take Angie to your room and you can play? Maggie took Angie to her room, and then she asked Angie, can you please tell me why did you run away? She said, oh, Maggie, you know what? My mom has a collection of Lots of angel statues. They are very pretty, and they are very expensive. And guess what? When mom and dad went away, I took one of the angels to play with, and I broke the wings. That is my mom's favorite angel. And I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I was upset, and I knew mom was going to be really upset with me. So I ran away. I came all the way from my home to your home. I didn't care about the rain. Oh, Maggie said that was not right. You know, moms and dads, they tell us not to do certain things. But that doesn't mean that they don't care about us. They ask us not to do certain things because they love us. Angie, your mom is on the phone, Maggie's mom said. Oh, Angie was frightened. She didn't want to talk to her mommy. But then Maggie's mom put her hand on the speaker and she said, Angie, your mom is crying. And she wants you to talk to her. She wants you home. Angie took the phone. Mommy and Maggie left the room. And Angie talked to her mommy. And then after some time, she came out of the room sniffling. She says, my mom is not angry with me. She says she loves me. And she wants me to come home. How can that be? I broke her most expensive angel. Maggie's daddy came out and he said, you know what, Angie, that's how parents are. They all love, parents all love their children. They tell them not to do certain things, not because they don't want them to do it, but they want them to grow in the way that God wants the kids to grow. Your parents love you unconditionally. What does unconditionally mean? Maggie, Angie said, that means even if you do wrong, you know, they get mad, but that doesn't mean they don't like you. They just love you even if you are wrong. And then Maggie's mom said, you know, that's how God is. God has made parents just like him. God loves us. He loved us so much that he gave his only son to die on the cross for us, Jesus. And then Maggie said, well, I'm so happy that my mom is not mad with me. I don't want my mommy and daddy to become old. I don't want them to become sick 
and I don't want them to die. Daddy said, come on now, let's go home. And I, I want you to go to your daddy and mommy and tell them that you love them. So daddy, mommy, Maggie, they took Angie to their home. Angie ran to her mom and said, mommy, I'm so sorry for breaking your angel. Mom said, you know what? I don't care about that broken angel. I care about you. You are my angel, and I love you very much. So boys and girls, the lesson that we learn today is God cares for us. Our parents, they care for us, and they love us no matter what. They are always there for us. They scold us, but we have to not, not think that they don't love us. They love us all the time. Well, you can go back to your seat.